What's up, folks? Today, uh, I'd like to get into Luke 17.2, but first, let's look at something. Taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything I pop off with the new rock Electronic, blow the sonic roof up I'm too honest when I take a few shots They're too toxic, need to take the new song You cannot save me Cause I don't need saving It's everything I've been chasing all here for the taking Don't wanna test your luck with me I think I've had enough disease I'm sick of all the bad thoughts So how disgusting is that? You know, anybody that thinks that that is normal is insane and they clearly need Christ because that is not normal. You have these sexual innuendos. You have this suggestive music. You have these signs on the wall. You have these dirty lyrics. Um, you know, and, and these are done in front of children. Now, we know that these are going to happen. These things are, are going to happen in these times. Because the Lord Jesus Christ told us that these things are going to happen. And the word of God tells us that these things are going to happen. And they're happening. And we are living in the end times. And for anybody to say we're not living in, in the end times and the Bible is, is a fantasy and and, you know, these things have been going on forever. Nothing has changed. That's, that's all false. That's a lie. And you clearly have not read the Bible. You see, every time somebody says they don't believe in God and the Bible is false and there is no God and whatnot, they haven't read the Bible. It's just like when you say we are living in the times of Matthew 24 and you bring up the earthquakes where it says there will be earthquakes in diverse places. People say, oh, there's, there's been earth, earthquakes going on forever. Yeah, that's true. But it is a scientific fact. I mean, you can look this up yourself. You can go on Google. You can go on YouTube, whatever, and look it up yourself. The multitude of, ma uh, multitude of earthquakes that are happening right now, the majority of them are six and up, and even seven. I remember last year there was that week. <clears throat> where there were like five earthquakes they were all on um seven you know they were they were all sevens on the richter scale so you can't tell me it's the same as it was before times used to be more peaceful less evil before can we all say the lgbt whatever community has been around for thousands of years. It's always been like that. It hasn't. The spirit of the Antichrist is at large. And Jesus Christ, your Lord and King and God in the flesh, is your sword and your shield. You cannot battle evil by yourself. Let's get into Luke 17, 2. It says, It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and he cast into the sea, than that he should offend one of these little ones. You know, children, children are a blessing from God. When you have a child, you have been blessed by God. And these people, what they're doing, 
with kids, trying to groom them, and they admit that they are trying to groom them, they are doing the work of the devil. Now, I don't know if they know that they're doing the work of the devil. I'm not sure if they, if they don't know. They are digging themselves into a grave. They are separating themselves from Christ. And a true death is when you are separated from the Lord. When you're separated from God, then you are truly dead. You are dead. In your flesh, you have died in your sins. These are kids. Let's look at something else real quick. Well, an active hate crime investigation is underway in Alameda County. Officials say a, a hate group stormed a library during a drag queen story hour for children. Stephanie McGallion reports that uh, she spoke with the performer and staff who were there. What was supposed to be a quiet reading time with drag queen Panda Dulce and Isn't that crazy? For the normal sane person with morals, that would be crazy. Drag queen story hour for children. Did you catch the other lady that was reporting, the second one? She says, what was supposed to be a quiet reading time with drag queen, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Now, you know, in the olden days where news reporters, they reported on stories for example, they would say like something like uh, what was supposed to be a quiet vigil for blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> it would always begin with something positive, you know. Like, for example, what was supposed to be a quiet vigil for a teenager slain when he was outside riding his bike turned deadly, so and so. But now it's. What was supposed to be a quiet reading time with drag queen so-and-so. Are we trying to normalize this? We're trying to normalize it. Why do we have a quiet reading time with drag queens? Do they not know the nature of drag queens? These are children. You think a child understands? I bet you the, the, the kids sitting there looking at this person, they probably think they're a clown or something. I mean, you're, you're painted up. Your face is painted up. And what if the kid asks you, what's with the makeup? Because kids ask questions. You know what I mean? They ask questions. I remember I was hiking once with a friend, and his kid was with him. And a person in a wheelchair rolled by. And uh, the kid asked the person, why are you in the chair? See, kids ask questions. So now, if, you, if a kid asks the question, why, why is your face painted up? Or why do you have, why does your face look like that in regards to the makeup? What's that person going to say? What's that drag queen going to say? If a kid at school, a place now where there are members of the LGBT as teachers, teaching kids, if a, te if, if a kid asks these teachers something regarding like uh, gender or whatever, what's that teacher going to say? You are your, if you have a kid, you are your child's first teacher. And whatever school you put that child into, that teacher will be an extension of your teaching. Or so it should be. So you have to think about it. Is that what you want the teacher to teach your child? That if you're a boy, you can be a girl. Or if you're a girl, you can be a boy. And sometimes you're not a boy and a girl. I'm sorry to tell you, there's, all, there's only male and female. There's nothing else. I don't see a third gender walking around. I don't see a third gender reveal party. I don't see a third color. We've had blue and pink forever associated with boys and girls, male and female. God created male and female for the male. 
God created man. Therefore, the woman was created. And he dubbed her woman because it was from his rib. Are we going to normalize pedophilia next? <clears throat> Do you not see the fullness of sin happening? If you think it's normal to talk to kids, if you're a teacher, if you're anybody but the parent, if you think it's normal to talk to kids about gender and, and sex and, and all this stuff, sorry, man, but something's wrong with you. It is not your place to do so. These are children. In a normal world, in a holy world, in a world filled with morals, it would be criminal to do such things. Do you think God appreciates and God likes what, what these people are doing to kids? You don't think he's going to judge you? What did he do to Sodom and Gomorrah? The only thing right now you can do is hang on to Christ. To raise your kids properly. To raise them in the footsteps of the Lord Jesus Christ. To raise them as righteous. Your flesh is flesh. Your bone is bone. When you're dead, it's done. It's done. What you have inside you is a spirit. Your flesh and this world are going to go. And your spirit is going to be left. Are you going to be thrown into fire? Do you not believe in eternity? And if you do believe in eternity, but you don't believe in God. <sighs> sorry to tell you. Your eternity is going to be spent in hell. The Bible says, do not fear the one that can kill the body. But fear the one that can kill the body and the soul in hell. And who is that somebody? That somebody is God. So are you going to fear mankind and this world, or are you going to fear God? The Bible says the beginning of all knowledge starts in the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. If you're a parent out there, you need to step back for a second and look at your kid or kids. You need to look at them. You need to look at their innocence. You need to understand there's a God. You need to understand that we have the ability to love, and that love is from God. People always say, oh, I want proof of God's existence. Just look around, man. Look around. Look at the mountains. Look at the oceans. Look at the animals. Look at the apple, which has its own seed within itself. Apples have their own seeds within themselves. Us, males, have seeds. Plants, trees, whatever, seeds. Animals have seeds. You think all of this is because of some explosion or evolution? You think the sun sits at the perfect distance from Earth that we can grow things and we can um, receive heat, but at the same time not cook, not be burned to death? You think that's an accident? That's a that's a, just by accident. That's not a design. If you're not a believer and you're listening to this, are you that delusional? There are people out there that risk their lives to save someone else. You think that love is a normal love? You think that love just came from space? From evolution? From a big bang? That love is something deep. That love is spiritual.
why would God give us signs that He's real when there's sign when 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 His creation is enough? We all have fingerprints that differ from each other. You think that's an accident? My friend, this is all by design. God is the creator. He made everything. Nothing is an accident. The Bible said this world is going to come to an end. The Bible says that sin is going to abound. <clears throat> Excuse me. It says lawlessness will abound. And the love of many will grow cold. Do you not see that happening? What's climate change to you? Is it scientific? Or is it God? If you're a parent, I really, really suggest that you take extra care of your children or child. I hope you raise them up in the Lord. Um, because there's, there's, there's nothing else. You know, it's like a window right now. And that window is closing. Slowly. And when that window closes, it's going to be nothing but lawlessness. The man of sin will be revealed. Lawlessness will abound. Sin will abound. We are to follow Christ. Even if we are persecuted, even if we are killed. So strengthen your faith, strengthen your patience, your endurance, your long suffering. Strengthen in the Lord Jesus Christ. You cannot do it without God. You cannot. Repent of your sins. Lord Christ died, he was crucified, and died for our sins so that we could be forgiven. There is no other sacrifice. He was buried and he rose on the third day. And he sits at the right hand of God. He defeated death, hell, Satan. And he will return. Read your Bibles. Repent. Give your life to God. Surrender yourself. He will wash you clean from the inside. He will change your heart. He will change, will change your whole life. If you don't believe me, and you don't do it, how will you know? There is no other way, my friends. You can see times are getting worse. Sin is growing. Sin is growing. Give yourself to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because there is no other way out of this. He will give you joy and love. He will forgive you. He will have mercy on you. He died for your sins. He died for your sins. God loves everybody. He gave his only begotten son for us. That's all I wanted to say for today. Thanks, guys.